Hello, love. Welcome home to Eden. So you're ready to take your self-love to the next level, right? Whew, this is so exciting. So that's, um, that's such, such a big, important journey because as, as you get more and more in tune with what it is to really love you, then your life starts to become the song you want to sing, the, 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 the painting you've always wanted to live within. <laughs> but loving you is different than loving others, and it's also often very different than what other people's idea of what the best thing for you is. <laughs> so, for example, I'm like really good at loving myself on a lot of levels. I've, um, let's see, I've, um, I've gotten, I've made peace with my voluptuous body. I'm like, I love her, woo! And, and I've made peace with the part of me that also likes to diet, to trim up at times, you know? You know, there's all these men who only like me big and I have to let go of them. And then there's men who only like me skinny, I've gotta let go of them. <laughs> I have to just be, loving my body, right? It's the process of loving my body, my health, the way it feels, the way I like to look, the way it looks to me when I look down at myself, <laughs> right? I found a career that um, is all on my own terms. When I'm doing my jewelry and this Love Life um, show, it's all my own magic spell every day. Um, and I have committed to my singing, the scary thing, the one thing I always wanted to do, the scariest, most desirable thing that I thought I was not good enough for, not talented enough for, whatever all the things are, we stop ourselves, our, our, we stop our self-love when we start judging ourselves for what we desire, what we crave, where our passion is. All right, but I am so amazed that with all that self-love going on in me, I will uh, notice all these things that I do that are still about getting approval, fitting in, uh, and, and they often center around the body. Like I, I, I'll really be hot, I want to take a shower, and I'll be like, no, I'm not going to because my hair is perfect. I'll be hot and miserable so that I can keep my hair nice. It's all an external value, right? Instead of the experience of my day, uh, wearing shoes that I think look super sexy because I want that feeling of feeling sexy. Well, that's self-love on a certain level to do it a little, but it becomes self-abuse when I feel like, oh, if I don't wear those heels, I don't look tall enough, <laughs> you know? Um, so I want you to take this journey today and just start noticing what are the little things that you do that are not loving you, you want to take your self-love to the next level, uh, that you could try something new. For example, yesterday and the day before, I went around without a bra. <laughs> Bras make me feel like I'm in a straight jacket half the time, and then other times I love them. They feel like they're supporting me, and they're lifting me up, but then, they're, then I'm spilling out of them. And I like that feeling <laughs> because I'm being supported and I'm not being strapped in. <laughs> but what about just not wearing a bra? It's something I... I like, oh, you can't do that. You're going to look like a, a wild hippie or a, um, a slovenly person who doesn't care or, or raunchy, all these judgments about it. It's like, I just don't want to wear a bra. When you're a big boobed woman, uh, there's all these judgments that come with, with whether or not, you, whatever your boobs are doing. <laughs> so uh, what are you doing that is um, at times just all about others and not about your own experience. See, self-love at the deeper level, it's about your humanity and your experience of being here in your body. It's not so much about desirability and acceptance. It's, a, it's the, the deeper self-love has this self-reflection in it that uh, can, can judge for yourself. Well, uh, this sacrifice that I'm making today, like right now, not showering because I'm loving the feeling of, of the heat. It's been cold for so long. I'm loving this, the heat. I'm just sweating it out. <laughs> um, or, or this sacrifice uh, for a friend 
is full of my own love of me. It, it, it is, uh, yes, it's, it's the pleasing of somebody else is actually pleasing myself. Um, and when is it that you're acting out of a place of like paranoia and, and um, you know, robotic programming? <laughs> All right, because it's true that as you love you more, you do break the norm. You do start doing things that are more and more out of the usual. Um, <laughs> I love this thing that Ralph Smart said. I, I've been watching his videos. I do recommend them to you. Uh, Infinite Waters, uh, Ralph Smart. <laughs> um, he says you were born to stand out, not to fit in. And and that when you take that in, really take it to heart, uh, then you realize, oh, all my uniqueness, all the things that I would do to love myself more, um, they do make me stand out, and that's what I'm, I'm born to do. That, that's what we're all born to do uh, in, in, in our uniqueness. It's okay. Um, so I made a little video about um, are, you too, are you too sexy for your own good? And I was asking for permission from my audience. I was asking for feedback. But the truth is, it was more of a, a playful thing for me to put out because the truth is I made the decision a long time ago that I was just going to be more sexy uh, outwardly, inwardly, in every way than my New England surroundings support. <laughs> and... Um, <sighs> I made this decision um, to do this show uh, to help others to f free themselves, help you to allow yourself to love yourself enough um, to dress how you want, to really think of your comfort, to, to, to express your joy for this world, your ecstatic uh, feminine energy, whether you're a man or a woman. The feminine is the principle that we need to start supporting, and that is about self-love that is often radically strange. Self-love can be so odd. It's so wild. You know, I was working with kids for 30 years. Here I am doing a sexy love life show. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's following. I'm just following the flow, the thread of... of um, the threat of becoming, becoming more ecstatically uh, flowing with, with divine expression. And that's another thing that Ralph Smart says. He says the more, the more you love yourself or another, the more expressive you become. The more, uh, and perhaps it's because you're a little more self-confident. Although I don't know if I'm any more confident. Like I, I had to sing this week and I... I threw up a bunch of times. I was so scared. <laughs> uh, so, uh, you don't have to be confident to love yourself and to do um, <laughs> dangerous? I was going to say dangerous. Not dangerous! No. Scary things <laughs> that, that take you into more of the territory of loving your whole soul. And remember, to love your whole soul sometimes is to do really hard things, really scary things, that's what loving you is all about. It's like, I love you enough for you to make blatant big mistakes in front of everyone. <laughs> okay, much love, darling. Love life. Love your life enough to do what you want to do. Okay, good. <laughs>